Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system project using Django. And in this one, I'm going to go ahead and start working with configuring the static and the template files. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. And also consider checking out the links in the description below. One of them will help you to become a better Django developer. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you followed along with the tutorial, you will know that in the last one, we worked with the admin section and everything was working perfectly well. Now, in this one, I want to go ahead and configure the template files. The first thing you want to do is scroll all the way to the templates section while being in the settings py file. And in the des folder or in the des line, of code you want to go ahead and add a very simple line of code over here that we get whatever folder that is called template and link it to Django all right but before we do this I want you guys to scroll all the way to the top and you want to import something called OS operating system okay now after you've imported this scroll all the way back to the des section and you want to attach or link the templates folder so I will say os.path.join and I want to join the base directory. So the base directory is, um, let me let me just click this, then I'll show you guys. So you see where the manage py is sitting, where the dbsqlite3 is sitting, and where all the apps are sitting, that is the base directory. So this base directory, we have a folder that is called templates, okay? Now, I want to join the base directory with this folder called templates. That means over here, I just want you guys to put a comma, open up a string and type in the word templates. So whatever you called this, that is what this here should be called. OK, that means all our templates files will be sitting in here. That's pretty much it. Now, the next thing I want you guys to do is go ahead and set up the the static files and the media files because with the static files we will be able to do things like get our css our assets images our javascript files and with the media files we're going to be able to do things like you know upload images upload product images or hotel images and they will get into the media files then we need to tell django how to get the static file and how to get the media file I want you guys to take notes that the static files will be keeping track of or will be keeping all the files that we are using for the websites like the CSS, the JavaScript and things like that. The media files will keep files that are uploaded or we are uploaded from a user dashboard or from the admin panel. Now Django needs a way to actually know where these files are so that it will be it will be able to actually give us URL to get those images and all those files. How do we do this? I want you guys to scroll down all the way to the default auto field, this one over here. And what I want you to do is quite simple. You know what, instead of doing it here, let's do it below the static URL. We will start off by creating a, a new static underscore root and new static underscore root should be equal to, now we wanna join os.path dot join remember how we did the base there that is the same thing that we are doing then we're gonna have another folder called static over here now we are trying to join this base there with a folder called static that we just created right now it's as simple as that but there is one thing that i want you guys to know if you will be pushing to production you need to also have static files so static files is pretty much all the files that were, that were used in your application combined and added to one single folder. And we also need to tell Django how to go ahead and get static files. And in order to do this, we need to simply create a static files directories. Now, how do we do this? I will get down here and I will create a new static underscore file. No, it should just be static files underscore there's don't worry, after this, I will then show you guys something that you need to do. So I will say os.path.join. And what are we joining? We will join the base directory with a static. 
Now, what does this mean? Let me let me explain what's going on. So remember, all our all our CSS file, JavaScript file, and all that will be stored in this folder called static. When we run the py manage py collect static, Django needs a way to know where all our static files are. So now we are telling Django that our static files directory is going to be in this folder called static. Okay. And when Django is trying to compile all the static files, Django will grab all the files that is in the static and create a new folder automatically that will be called static files. And Django will put in those files in that static files that needs to be used in production. Okay. That means the static root over here needs to be what? Static files. I don't know if you guys understand what's going on. If for any reason you don't understand, don't worry with time, you will understand this perfectly well. Now, does this give any hints? We need to create a folder called stat static files, right? Because when we did the same thing, we created a folder called static. When we did for the template, we created a folder called template. That means we need to still create a folder called static files. But no, you don't need to do that. This will happen automatically whenever you call the Python manage py collect static command. As simple as that. With this now we are done we've set up the static now let's go ahead and set up the media it's exactly the same thing but with different keyword so media roots should be what then um, os dot part dot join media root os part dot join and we want to join the base directory with a folder that is called media now that means we need to create that folder that is called media right there you go that's its media and um, after this, we also need to create this, the media. Okay, this one actually is media roots. And the next one is going to be media URL. I will do this above the media roots. Media underscore URL. That's the next one. Now, it will be slash media. Did you take a close look or notice the static URL that has slash static? This should be slash static. Okay. And now over here, we have slash media. This means whenever Django wants to get all the uploaded files, it needs to go to port 8000 slash media slash the name of the image or whatever to get it. Whenever Django wants to get the CSS or the HTML, it needs to go to slash port 8000 slash static slash style.css. That's simple as that. We are done. Let me go ahead and run my server one more time. There you go, my server is running. Now, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and populate this static folders now and templates with our template files. I will hop back to this one to see what we have. It says configure this, create new folder templates, configure the static and media, create new this, copy all static files and add to the static folder. Now, to copy all the static files and add to the static folder, I need to go ahead and open up the HMS PRJ projects that I initially had. Now, I want to drag this and uh, I will put it side by side, one over here and one over here. And if you get the templates, this is everything that you will get. All this have been included in the templates, the front end template itself, the project source code itself, um, the project manual and docs and also the license. So this is everything that you will get in the templates. Now, what we are looking for is the front end templates. In the front end template, I want you to copy the CSS, the fonts, the images, the script, and the stock images. Copy all this. And I want you to come over to the HMS tutorial, open the static, and paste all this down here. And just like that, we are done. Now, I want you to head back, open up your Visual Studio code, and you will see that we now have these over here. So now with this, that's pretty much it. We have configured our static files. And in the next one, we're going to go ahead and do things like, I think, creating a model. Right now, we haven't started seeing any visual thing on our site yet. This is still showing the install work successfully. In the future, we will start doing things like configuring the templates to actually show up something over here in the home page. And when we get to that section, you guys will really understand everything that is going on and actually enjoy the tutorial more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and start working with creating a custom user and profile model. And that's going to be it. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.